All right, so get this. NVIDIA just announced not one, but two personal AI supercomputers. Whoa. Yeah. So we're talking DGX Bark and DGX Station. Mm. And mm. honestly, I think these are about to change the game for anyone working with AI. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, what's really exciting here is NVIDIA is basically taking the power of a whole data center. Right. You know, the kind of setup that used to take up a whole room. Yeah. And they're squeezing it down to the size of your desktop. It's like having a research lab in your living room. I know, right? It's crazy, uh, which is why we're dying deep into these new machines today. Yeah. So we'll unpack what they mean for the future of AI yeah. and more importantly, what they could mean for you. Exactly. And for a long time, if you wanted to develop cutting edge AI, you needed access to these massive, expensive computing resources. For sure. But with these personal supercomputers, things are about to change. So first up, DGX Spark. They're calling it the world's smallest AI supercomputer. Right. Which seems a little contradictory, right? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. But the magic lies in the NVIDIA GB10 Grace Blackwell Superchip. It's designed specifically for this smaller form factor while still delivering a knockout punch. Okay, so this chip has a Blackwell GPU and 5th gen tensor cores. Uh-huh. Can you break those down for us? Like, what do they actually do? So think of it this way. DGX Spark can handle up to a thousand trillion operations per second. Okay. To put that into perspective, imagine translating a live global conference in real time with multiple languages all being processed simultaneously. Wow. That's the kind of power we're talking about. Wow, that's a lot of processing power. It is. And it's all thanks to this tiny chip. Like, what's the secret sauce? Well, part of it is the NVLink C2C interconnect technology. Okay. Instead of data crawling between the GPU and the CPU, this tech creates a super highway, letting everything zip back and forth at lightning speed. Mm. For AI, especially those complex models, it means faster training and development. Right. We're talking about potentially shaving days off a project's timeline. So if I'm understanding this right, a developer could tackle projects that used to require a whole team and a room full of servers, yeah. all from their desk with this small machine. Exactly, and it gets even better. Okay. DGX Spark offers a smooth transition between platforms so you can start your work locally and then seamlessly move your models to the cloud, whether it's DGX Cloud or another provider. Mm -hmm. This flexibility is a game changer for developers who need to scale their projects. So it's not just about raw power. Okay. It's about fitting into your workflow and growing with your needs. Exactly. That's pretty impressive. But wait, we've got another contender in this AI arena. Right. DGF Station. Yes. What's the story with this one? So if DGX Spark is a powerhouse, think of DGX Station as a whole power plant. It truly lives up to its promise of bringing data center performance right to your desktop. And it's powered by the NVIDIA GB300 Grace Blackwell Ultra Desktop Superchip, right? That's right. Okay, let's break down the specs. So we've got a Blackwell Ultra GPU. The latest Tensor Core's FP4 Precision is all this as impressive as it sounds. It absolutely is, but what really steals the show here is the memory. A mind-boggling 784 gigabytes of coherent memory space. Hold on, 784 gigabytes? Yes. You're telling me this desktop machine has more memory than most high-end servers? That is correct. What does that even mean for AI development? So imagine working with data sets so large they'd make your head spin, or training incredibly complex models that can simulate intricate scenarios. Yeah. That's what this kind of memory enables. We're talking about pushing the boundaries yeah. of what's possible in AI, all from the comfort of your desk. It's like they took the idea of a personal computer and said, hold my AI and created something entirely new. I like that. But there's more to it than just the super chip, right? Yeah. What about this NVIDIA Connect X8 Supernetic? What's that all about? That's the key to unlocking even more power. The Supernetic enables lightning fast networking speeds up to 800 gigabits per second. This is crucial for AI workloads that involve handling massive data sets and communicating between different components. Plus, you can connect multiple DGX stations together. So if one DGX station isn't enough, you can just link a bunch of them together. Exactly. That's like building your own mini data center right there in your office. Exactly. It's about giving you the flexibility to scale up your AI development as needed. And it's not just about the hardware. The software ecosystem, CDX AI platform, and NVIDIA AI Enterprise is what ties everything together and lets you actually harness this incredible power. Okay, so we've established that these machines are incredibly powerful, but I think it's time we shift gears a bit and talk about the software side of things. Absolutely. The hardware is just the foundation. The software is what empowers developers to truly unlock the potential of these personal AI supercomputers. 
It's where the real magic happens. So when we come back, we'll delve into the software ecosystem that makes all of this possible. Stay tuned. This is just the beginning of our deep dive into NVIDIA's personal AI revolution. Welcome back. Before the break, we were blown away by the hardware. Yeah. These tiny machines are packing some serious power. They are. But let's talk about the software that makes the AI magic happen. What's the story there? Well, you're right. The hardware is only half the battle. The software ecosystem is what really empowers developers to harness that power and build innovative applications. So we're talking about the tools, the libraries, the frameworks that make AI development easier and more accessible. You know? Exactly. And NVIDIA has spent years building a robust software ecosystem for AI DGX Spark and DGX Station plug right into this infrastructure, giving developers access to a powerful suite of tools. Okay, let's start with the NVIDIA QDX AI platform. Okay. What makes this platform so important, especially with these personal AI supercomputers? Think of Sudix AI as a massive toolbox designed to turbocharge your AI workflow. It's got libraries, tools, and technologies optimized for deep learning, machine learning, data analytics, you name it. And it's all built to run like a dream on NVIDIA GPUs, squeezing out every bit of performance and efficiency. So for someone using DGX Spark or DGX Station, CUAX AI is like having a cheat code for AI development. Yeah. Giving you access to pre-built functions and optimized algorithms that would take forever to code yourself. That's a great way to put it. It streamlines the entire workflow so developers can focus on building something new and innovative instead of reinventing the wheel. It's like having a team of AI experts working alongside you. Yeah helping you write better code and get results faster. Exactly, and it's not just about speed, it's about accessibility. Mm -hmm. CUX AI makes these complex AI tasks much easier for a wider range of developers. Yeah. You don't need to be a deep learning expert to get started. Okay, so CDX AI is all about building and training your AI models. But what about when you want to take those models out of the development sandbox and into the real world? Right, that's where NVIDIA AI Enterprise steps in this software suite is designed specifically for deploying, managing, and scaling AI applications in real-world settings. So it's like the bridge between the research lab and real-world applications. Yeah. Helping turn those cutting-edge AI models into practical solutions. Precisely. And one of the key features of NVIDIA AI Enterprise is its focus on enterprise-grade support and security. This is crucial for organizations that are using AI in critical environments. So it's about peace of mind knowing that your AI applications are running smoothly and securely, yeah. even in the most demanding situations. Exactly. And here's another cool thing. NVIDIA AI Enterprise offers a range of pre-trained models and microservices. These are ready-to-use components that you can easily integrate into your own applications, speeding up development and reducing the need for specialized expertise. So it's like having a library of pre-built AI building blocks that you yeah. can plug and play into your own projects. Exactly. That's pretty handy. But with all this talk about software, I'm wondering, are we moving away from the idea of personal AI supercomputers as standalone devices? Mm. Is everything going to be cloud-based from now on? That's a great question. While the cloud is definitely a major part of the AI landscape, these personal AI supercomputers offer some unique advantages, especially for certain types of work. Okay, help me understand the trade-offs here. Sure. When would I choose to work locally on a DGX Spark or DGX station? And when would it make more sense to rely on the cloud? It really comes down to your specific needs. If you're dealing with sensitive data that can't leave your premises, or if you need lightning fast responses for real-time applications, then a local machine like DGX station gives you more control and security. It's like having your own private AI lab where you can experiment without worrying about data privacy or internet hiccups. Great. But what about projects that need massive amounts of data or processing power? Yeah. Wouldn't the cloud still be a better option in those cases? Absolutely. For tasks that require huge data sets or parallel processing, the cloud can be more cost effective and scalable. It's all about choosing the right tool for the job. So it's not a case of one being better than the other. These personal AI supercomputers aren't meant to replace the cloud. Mm -hmm. They're more like an extension of it. Exactly. Offering more flexibility and customization for AI development. Exactly. And what's really exciting is that with tools like DGX Spark and DGX Station, more people can get hands-on with AI, explore new possibilities, and yeah. potentially develop solutions to problems we haven't even thought of yet. That's what I find so fascinating about this whole AI revolution. Yeah. The sheer sense of potential. Yeah. It feels like we're only scratching the surface of what's possible, but let's be realistic for a moment. These personal AI supercomputers, 
probably cost a small fortune, right? Well, we don't have exact pricing yet, but it's safe to say there'll be a significant investment. So at least for now, it seems like larger companies, research institutions, and well-funded startups are the ones who will be adopting this technology first. What about individual developers or smaller teams with limited budgets? Are they being left out of this AI revolution? That's a valid concern. But remember, technology has a way of becoming more accessible over time. It's like the early days of smartphones. Right. They were a luxury item at first, but now they're everywhere. Exactly. Do you think we'll see a similar trend with personal AI supercomputers? I think it's definitely possible. We're already seeing a shift towards more accessible AI resources. Cloud platforms offer affordable access to powerful AI tools. And there's a growing world of open source tools and libraries that are available to anyone. So even if you can't afford a top of the line personal AI supercomputer right now, there's still ways to get involved and explore the world of AI. Absolutely. And that's why it's so important to stay up to date on the latest advancements in AI, even if you're not a developer yourself. It's like learning a new language, the language of the future. Yeah. The more you understand about AI, the better prepared you'll be to navigate the changes that are coming and maybe even help shape them. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's bring it back to these personal AI supercomputers. We've talked about how they can empower developers, but I'm curious to see how they might impact different industries as well. That's a great point. We've been focusing on the technical aspects, but it's important to consider the broader applications. Let's shift gears and explore how DGX Spark and DGX X Station could be game changers in fields like science, art, engineering, and even small businesses. Sounds fascinating. We'll dive into those real world applications right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the deep dive. We've been exploring NVIDIA's personal AI revolution, and I'm already imagining all the ways these powerful tools could change the world. Yeah, it's definitely been an eye-opening journey. We've gone from the nuts and bolts of the hardware to the software that brings it all to life. And now we're ready to see how it could impact various industries. We've talked about how DGX Spark and DGX Station can empower developers, but what about the bigger picture? How might these personal AI supercomputers become the go-to tools for scientists, artists, engineers, even everyday entrepreneurs? Hmm. Let's start with scientists. Yeah. Imagine a researcher working on a cure for a disease. With DGX Spark, they could analyze massive data sets of genetic information, potentially identifying patterns and breakthroughs that would have taken years to uncover with traditional methods. So we're talking about accelerating scientific discovery, potentially leading to medical breakthroughs that could benefit millions of people. That's pretty incredible. But what about the creative fields? How could artists utilize these tools? Imagine a filmmaker using DGX Station to create stunning visual effects that were previously impossible or a musician composing a symphony with the help of AI exploring new sounds and melodies. The possibilities for creative expression are truly limitless. It's like giving artists a superpower, the ability to bring their wildest imaginations to life. But AI isn't just for scientists and artists, right? What about engineers? How could they benefit from this technology? Think about an engineer designing a bridge with DGX Spark. They could run simulations to test different designs and materials, ensuring the structure's stability and safety with incredible precision. Or imagine an engineer developing self-driving cars using AI to analyze real-time traffic data and optimize roads for efficiency and safety. So we're talking about solving real-world problems, making our infrastructure safer and more efficient. It seems like the applications are endless. But let's not forget about small businesses. How could they utilize these personal AI supercomputers? Imagine a local bakery owner using DGX Station to analyze customer data, identifying trends and preferences to create personalized recommendations and promotions. Or a small clothing store using AI to optimize their inventory management, ensuring they always have the right products in stock at the right time. It's like giving small business owners a secret weapon, helping them compete and thrive in a rapidly changing world. But with all this talk about the potential benefits, I think it's important to acknowledge that there are challenges as well. You're absolutely right. As with any powerful technology, we need to be mindful of the potential downsides. What are some of the concerns we should be thinking about? One concern is the potential for job displacement as AI becomes more sophisticated. It's possible that some tasks currently performed by humans could be automated. This could lead to job losses in certain sectors. So it's not just about the exciting possibilities, but also about managing the transition and ensuring that people have the skills and support they need to adapt to a changing workforce. Exactly. And another concern is the potential for bias in AI algorithms. If these algorithms are trained on biased data, 
they could perpetuate existing inequalities and discrimination. So it's not just about building powerful AI tools, but also about ensuring that those tools are used ethically and responsibly. Absolutely. And we need to involve diverse perspectives in the development and deployment of AI to mitigate these potential risks. It sounds like we need a multifaceted approach, embracing the potential of AI while also addressing the challenges thoughtfully and proactively. Exactly. And I think it's important to remember that AI is still in its early stages as the technology continues to evolve. Mm -hmm. We need to stay engaged in the conversation, asking tough questions and working together to shape a future where AI benefits everyone. So to our listeners, we encourage you to stay curious, stay informed and stay engaged in this exciting and rapidly changing field. The future of AI is being written right now, and we all have a role to play in shaping it. Well said. And remember, AI is more than just lines of code and complex algorithms. It's a tool that has the potential to solve some of humanity's greatest challenges, unlock incredible creativity and empower individuals and communities around the world. And that's where we'll leave you today. This has been the deep dive exploring the frontiers of AI and the amazing possibilities that lie ahead. Thanks for joining us.